Hello everyone, Starfield just got a new update and unlike all the previous updates where mostly it was about fixes and improvements to performance, this update it actually introduces new features. It is a beta version but I have already installed it and I'm gonna show you guys the changes for those who don't want to be installing beta software. Number one, they added the ability to set expressions and poses on player and companions in photo mode. I don't know who asked for this, but it's okay. I guess, you know, a feature is a feature. It's good to have. I have to be honest, some of the poses or at least the combination of expressions and poses are a little bit weird. But most of them are okay. It's cool. Especially the ones for Vasco. I think those are pretty cool. Next up you can now open doors and harvest with the scanner open. I think this is a great quality of life improvement. However, I swear that I was able to harvest with the scanner open before. I could be wrong. Next item on the list, setting course on an inactive quest will now make it the active quest. I think it's a pretty welcome improvement. This update also added support for adjusting field of view when using third person ship view. So on top of the FOV slider for first person and third person for the character, now you also have one for the ship. They also added anisotropic filtering quality slider. Honestly, I play with this setting and I can't really tell the difference. I went all the way from just X1 to the max of X16 couldn't tell much of a difference anyway so it is there they also removed the digipick cost for using undo during the security minigame i don't know what this is or what it's trying to say here i didn't undo when you're not trying to unlock something but it still removed a digipick from you uh, if anyone knows put a comment so we can all know what's going on they also added an autosave when fast traveling from a planet's surface to orbit and finally, they updated the ship UI to perform more smoothly at higher frame rates. I didn't notice much of a difference there, but maybe to some of you with higher end machines, you may see a difference. And that is it for the update. It is beta right now, but I think the final will probably show up in a week or two. I hope you all enjoy the game, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video.